So, uh, hi guys, welcome back to MAD. Uh, today we have Naman Saxena with us, who got All India rank of triple two in Gate 2020 from Computer Science Branch. So, Naman, uh, at this point, I would like you to introduce yourself. That uh, what was your background? Which college did you graduated from? A little bit about yourself. Yeah, sure, Gaurav. So, hello everyone. I'm Naman Saxena, and I did my B Tech from uh, JP Institute of Information Technology in Noida. and i passed out in uh, 2020 my branch was computer science and engineering and uh, i appeared for gate uh, 2020 and scored a rank of triple 2 okay uh, thanks thanks for that so uh, naman let's start from the very beginning uh, that at what point at what stage when you were doing your bachelor's this thought of preparing for gate uh, came into your mind and why did it came so actually it was a long due thing i uh, it i was uh, clear that i would be pursuing masters just it was not clear to me that I, whether i would be doing uh, ms from abroad or whether i will be pursuing mtech from india so it was in third year in the fifth semester that i finally decided that uh, i would be uh, appearing for gate 2020 and i would be pursuing mtech in uh, from india only okay okay and uh, so you started this thought came in fifth semester so from when did you started was it fifth semester or then sixth semester you started for gate so uh, actually i wanted to start from the fifth semester but uh, uh, there was no coaching or the coaching that i wanted to join was not taking anyone in the fifth semester that is in july so i had to start from january 2019 Mm-hmm. and uh, in january 2019 i joined made easy weekend batch mm-hmm. and uh, their uh, gate program uh, ran for about uh, 11 months and uh, that that is where i took coaching okay so uh, agar hum baat kare uh, ki uh, aapne coaching li do you think coaching is kind of mandatory or how did coaching uh, help you in your preparation if someone is not able to afford or he is not willing to take coaching what is your stand on that so uh, i don't think that coaching is necessary at all it uh, it actually depends upon the individual so you you must have an idea about uh, where you stand and uh, what sort of your preparation and how much attention have you paid to your btech subjects and depending upon that you can decide whether you want to take a coaching or not for example if you have been really thorough in your btech subjects and uh, you have been uh, studying all the subjects that are asked in gate from standard textbooks i don't think that you really need to take a coaching uh, so and uh, if for example you have not been very thorough in your uh, btech program and uh, there is only about a year duration left uh, for k so i think it's better to join a coaching because what they do is that they will organize your preparation and you will be uh, preparing for gate in a very directed manner in a very efficient manner so that helps a lot correct correct okay uh, understood okay now your branch was computer science so uh, viewers might be thinking that there are so many subjects uh, based on your uh, preparation and based on the syllabus that computer science has which subjects would you like to highlight are important and also the resources that this book is kind of a must if you are preparing for gate this is a very good book you should definitely do it so one of the one of the subjects that are asked in gate is uh, discrete maths and discrete maths is really really important because if you see that uh, even in the uh, subjects like operating system and database there are question asked that uh, uses the concept of combinatorics so if you are really great with discrete maths i think uh, almost all the tricky questions will be easy for you and uh, you will be uh, you will you will not face any kind of difficulty in the exam mm-hmm. so discrete maths is really important and uh, after discrete maths i would say that algorithms and uh, data structures is also very important because all these subjects involve uh, the skill of problem solving so it's better that you start preparing for them and start practicing their questions uh, from the beginning of your preparation understood okay and coming to the resources any because definitely there are so many books so much material available 
but there are certain uh, books that people might say that questions might come directly from this book and this is definitely kind of a good book to start with any such recommendations on any uh, books or different topics uh, talking about uh, discrete maths i would say uh, kenneth h rosen is the best book for it and uh, i even used to solve its uh, practice questions and uh, there are so many numerical questions at the back of each chapter that uh, your preparation will be thorough if you solve its practice questions and uh, talking about the algorithm or data uh, structure subject i would say that you could uh, go to geeks for geeks and uh, solve uh, programming questions for uh, stack queues and other data structures and as well as for searching and sorting so geeks for geeks helps a lot in that respect also correct yeah i think uh, at this point we uh, you mentioned about uh, solving as many questions as you can right so you must have taken some test series also right yes so uh, i have taken medici test series for the year 2019 and uh, 2020 so what i felt is that uh, medizi has the best set of questions and uh, i would even say that one of the questions that was in uh, uh, 2020 test series came exactly in the gate 2020 so i was uh, really surprised to see that question in the actual exam so i would say that medizi test series is really good and it is not that hard and it is not that easy it is at par with gate and so it doesn't demoralize you at the same time it doesn't uh, uh, let you to lack something correct yeah i think uh, uh, talking about the test series there are uh, in this situation definitely it's not possible to kind of physically go and give the tests so there are many online platforms that have started their test series so i would just like to mention because i get uh, i keep on getting many queries uh, that which platforms you could uh, go to so one is what naman said that you could join the medici test series apart from that uh, there is Uh, also test series started from an academy recently so they have started the super 30 test series which comprises of uh, multiple subject wise tests with uh, around 30 questions uh, that is curated by the uh, an academy educators so uh, these small end tests are designed to help you uh, track your subjects uh, the preparations of those and i will share the links of all these uh, tests uh, in the description section so please feel free to uh, enroll for that if you would like and these are for a uh, different subjects uh, whether it's mechanical civil electrical or uh, computer science and also there is a separate test series for civil engineering guys uh, this test series is now live uh, uh, they have 14 tests which started from september 13 so uh, this would be definitely free of cost this is from xis uh, mr jaspal singh so again i would share the link of this uh, and you might be seeing this uh, on my uh, uh, video right now when i'm speaking so uh, please feel free to enroll for both of these test series and, and if you have uh, anything you could uh, visit the an academy website so uh, yeah this i just wanted to mention uh, different platforms that are available for uh, guys who are preparing uh, so naman coming back to uh, your strategy uh, now you were going for coaching uh, you were uh, giving tests Did it, did you felt that okay there is lack in time management uh, if you are taking coaching are you getting sufficient time for self study or was it too hectic or was it okay? Uh, I would say that it is bit of a task to manage coaching because uh, my coaching classes would be on weekends so Saturday and Sunday was completely blocked for me so whatever I used to learn in coaching I have to revise on weekdays as well as I have to uh, manage my classes in the college as well. so what i did was that i uh, kept my uh, college uh, academia uh, i gave uh, less priority to college and i was more focused on uh, completing whatever was being taught in uh, coaching classes mm -hmm. and uh, i would say that i was not very rigid with my schedule that i would maintain a very flexible schedule for example in the coaching uh, one subject would take around one month to complete so it was my goal that i would complete that subject uh, as soon as it is finished in coaching so what the strategy, uh, strategy did was that it was flexible enough that uh, i was not worried about missing my targets and at the same time i was progressing as the syllabus was progressing in coaching 
so that allowed me to be consistent and uh, this really helped me a lot so i would say that coaching helped me in this way that uh, i was moving forward parallelly with coaching and i was uh, really able to clean uh, uh, keep track of my progress correct uh, what were the number of hours that you were putting for study in general like because many people who are kind of passing through this phase they want to know that should i study for 8 hours is that much required or 2 hours is enough so what is your thoughts uh, i don't think that uh, there is a fixed number of hours that you should study because uh, as uh, if you are a student in final year then you are definitely carrying the load of college so on some day you will get uh, more number of hours on some day you will get less numbers of hours so if i were to describe my uh, holiday or uh, or a day where i have no uh, on which i have no classes so i would be devoting about 8 uh, hours that would be 3 uh, to 2 uh, 3 uh, hour sessions and 1 uh, 2 hour session for studying okay understood uh, now coming to the uh, time when you started you started kind of six semester but what do you think is the apt time if someone wants to prepare for get is it like one year enough six months enough uh, for computer science uh, what is your take on that i would say that uh, computer science requires less amount of time because the syllabus is less compared to other branches mm -hmm. and uh, there are different scenarios so if you if you think that you will be preparing on yourself only and not taking the help from coaching i would say that uh, you should start from uh, third year onwards and you should be thorough with your btech subjects so when they were being taught in your uh, normal semester you should be really thorough with them you should uh, refer to standard textbooks to give even the college exams and uh, if you are taking help of coaching i would say that uh, six semester uh, is sufficient so if you join coaching in six semester then you have sufficient sufficient amount of time so that would be it okay and now uh, you are pursuing your masters from ic bangalore right yes so uh, how did you came to choose ic bangalore and what's your future plans so uh, actually uh, i uh, gave interview for other iits as well and i was i received offer from them and uh, ic bangalore so Uh, there is a general perception that IIC Bangalore is good for research, so that kind of uh, uh, affected me. And uh, keeping in mind that IIC Bangalore provides you a good environment for research, so because of that, I selected IIC Bangalore. And uh, uh, as far as my future plans are concerned, so uh, it is in, in state of flux. So uh, it is a possibility that I might uh, pursue PhD. or uh, if i don't feel like uh, pursuing research i might join industry as well okay understood and uh, apart from study what are your hobbies uh, because i just want to tell people that the guys who clear it are not just kind of uh, studious guys that much yeah uh yes it's really important to have hobbies so uh, uh, when i i was not studying i would be involved in exercise so there was a rule that i would follow that i would always go to gym for 5 days a week and uh, that way i was able to keep myself physically active and uh, de stress myself and uh, apart from that uh, i would also read about psychology so psychology of is of particular interest to me as well as uh, the anatomy of brain so i was kind of interested in it because uh, artificial intelligence is uh, somewhat related to brain somewhat or it is completely related to brain so i think that uh, that kind of uh, motivated me to study about brain so in my free time i would be uh, reading articles on psychology and as well as on the parts of brain and that would be right okay so naman uh, man last question regarding the examination hall moment when you were there in the hall itself so uh, what was your strategy like uh, you started with one mark question or two mark question if you are not getting anything you skipped it uh, what was your strategy on that so the best way to go about is to finish your uh, aptitude section within 25 minutes 
So uh, the aptitude section consists of one marks and two marks questions both. So as soon as you are over with your uh, aptitude section, I would say that uh, you should start with one marks questions and uh, then gradually move on to two marks questions. And uh, uh, there is an advice I want to give that if uh, you are stuck on a question and you think that uh, uh, it will take uh, more amount of time, so you should just leave it for the last moment and uh, you should then after attempting all the questions that are short short you should then attempt the questions that you are not so sure about so what it does is that uh, after you have completed all the questions that uh, you are so sure about you now have the confidence and in that confidence you are also able to tackle the question which uh, you uh, somehow stumble uh, which uh, you were not so sure about so that was my strategy and I followed it. And there was one thing else. So uh, there is, uh, if you're attempting a three hour test, you should have in target that you should complete it by two and a half hours. Only that way you will be fast enough to attempt all the questions. So this is really a great advice and it really helps a lot. Correct. Oh, thanks Naman, thanks for all these uh, answers. So that's all questions I had, I don't want to make it too long also so that uh, uh, viewers get uh, kind of uh, deviated. But I think all the right points that uh, what books is coaching necessary or not, how much time did you devoted, uh, what's the time or correct time to start your studies and then what should be the strategy while you are giving the exam. So I hope uh, the viewers who are preparing for computer science uh, would get uh, some idea from this. So uh, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please uh, do share this with the other aspirants. It might be helpful for them. If you have not subscribed, uh, uh, not an agency, you could subscribe later. That's, that's not an agency. And regarding the unacademy things that I told you, so I would be sharing the links uh, in the description. Please feel free to uh, uh, enroll for those test series. That def test series definitely helps, whether it's uh, from an, an academy or whether it's from Made Easy, so that it helps you uh, to kind of get into that uh, uh, examination environment and practice. So uh, thank you, Naman. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, see you later. Yeah.